The greatest thing about the neighborhood I grew up in was the smooth stretch of road on West 52nd Avenue between Cypress and Angus. It was a place my friends and I called The Daily. And from the age of 12 or 13 until I finished high school, I skateboarded there almost every day. It was a place of fun and freedom and a place yeah, to try new tricks and to, to learn how to skateboard. In the beginning, we loved the daily just because it was a flat space and it had a curb we could slide on. But as we got older and more organized, we started building boxes and rails and ramps. And basically, we, we built ourselves our own little skate park. When building all these ramps, we took advantage of the construction that was happening in Carisdale in the 90s. And magically overnight, a sheet or two of plywood from here or there would find its way to the daily where it was transformed into an object of fun. The man who lived on the corner was a retired physician and he was very generous to us. He let us keep all of our ramps and boxes on a corner of his property. We gave him the nickname of Old Man Daily. And this was a fond nickname. It was, it was one given with love. And when I look back at it now, I'm really amazed with how generous he was. Because we did stockpile quite a bit of stuff there, and it probably looked like a bit of an eyesore. As we got a little bit older, we started to get more adventurous. And we really branched out from the daily. We would go downtown, we would go to UBC, to Oak Ridge, to Salem Bowl, to Granville Island, to Ladner Skate Park, to Yale Town. We really, we really traveled a lot. And this was great for us because it was a way to sort of see the city and interpret it through our own eyes. And um, also good for us to get out of Carisdale because we were a bit isolated there. If you, if you don't have a good reason to leave it when you're a kid, you, you don't so much. If you go to the Daily today, the ramps are gone, Old Man Daly's house has been torn down and a new one has been built. Most of the friends have all moved out of the neighborhood and the original wax is no longer on the curb. But the sweet evening air still remains. The memories that come from all the good times on four wheels remain. And the smooth stretch of road is still as fast and as fun as ever.